Hello and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. Whoa, Tiger gifting out some subs. Thank you so much there. Wow, what a way to start this video. Thank you so much. We're going to have some, some sub hype here. All right. Uh, anyway, we have Jeskai Walkers. We got a donation deck here, which I guess I don't have it labeled right there. But... Um, you can see over here, that's the, the two Ds there. That means it's a donation deck. So this was a viewer submitted deck for us to play. We're gonna play it through a traditional constructed league, see if we can win five or lose two, whichever happens first. Thanks so much there, Casper. Thanks for that sub as well. Y'all are awesome. Um, so what we have here is we have like this control deck. I guess I need to update our sub numbers there. So. so Control deck where we're really focused on our three mana planeswalkers. We got all of the all the Teferis, all the Chandras, all the Narsets, and a couple Mu Yanlings to join us in here as well. For 14 three mana planeswalkers. So it'll be interesting to try these out. I'm pretty excited about the Chandras in this deck, because take a look at like all of our cards. All of our like cards cost three or less mana. Uh, to go with the Chandra. So Chandra gets a flash, can flash back any of these. Like Chandra can flash back Entrancing Melody and Finale of Glory as well. <clears throat> we got some contentious plans. I definitely had to look up this card. Or, you know, like whenever I was looking at the deck list, I was like, what's this card? Uh, this lets us proliferate, then draw a card. So we can get like that extra, get some extra counters on like our Narset or Teferi or the Chandra, you know, get some extra counters on these things. So I'll be interested to see how this. Uh, card really works out here and then of course we have the sarkins up at the top end <clears throat> turn all these planeswalkers into creatures so this looks like a pretty interesting deck to try out something a little different um let's give it a try all right so we just hit a sub goal thanks to uh tiger and casper the kid and all the other subscribers so we're going to go ahead and, and get a pack. So we'll just do this real quick before we get going. Let's crack a pack. And these two sub goals that we've hit now today, that's going to go towards our next 12-hour stream. I'm doing a 12-hour stream whenever we hit 20. Hey, Steel Overseer. here. 20 total sub goals. And so we've hit two today. And... I think we were at nine before the day. Let me check. It's in the it's in the info panel. Yeah, we were at nine before today. So I'll just go ahead and update that. We're going from nine to eleven. Oh, did I just do a ranked match? What am I doing? Well, opponent gets a free win. Went from nine to eleven. <laughs> Good game. This was a really good hand, too. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll actually finish. Uh, maybe we'll actually get this deck going. There we go. Traditional Constructed Queue. Pay our 1,000 gold. And get some Jeskai Walkers going on. All right, here we go. So, going to get to five wins or two losses. What's going to happen first? Let's get our poll going on. Y'all vote. How many how many wins do y'all do think that we're going to get here? I'll get all of our options. There you go. Poll started. Make sure you type underneath where the poll started. Definitely Clarion's good against a lot of things. Zero, one, two, three, four, or five. All right, Esper Hero to start with. Good card against. The hero. Let's play another hero. Darn. Uh, I'll just go ahead and cast this thing. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. I guess I could go like Mu Yanling. That's fine. 
The real Horatio. Thanks so much, Horatio. <clears throat> Staying on that seven month streak. Prove your skills, and I can teach you even more. Learn some respect. That is sub number 24 on the day. All right, so the order goes three, four, and then two and five like to stay out of this, but I'll fight if are. Oh. Sky is my domain. Huh. The Mu Yanling battles. Two and five were tied, and then we had four people <laughs> vote for zero, but then nobody voted for one. Judge Fudge with the tier three sub again. Y'all keep this hype going. Thank you so much, Judge Fudge. Y'all are amazing. All right. So now do I... What am I doing with you, Moo? Yeah, we're going to make a bird. Respect nature, and it will offer assistance. Uh, sorry, sorry, Savage. Yeah, I yeah I I accidentally just entered with the wrong like the wrong place. I was, I didn't mean to do a, a ranked match there with with the wrong deck and everything, so I just had to quit. Sorry. So that was the problem with making the this token, of course, is the Teferi. But thought was like even if they the even if they have to you know like they have to have like the little Teferi for that. Even if they do, we have the Chandra to finish it off. Challenge a raging river. Right on schedule. I'll protect you. Hmm. Don't worry, I brought company. The sky is my domain. If I would have <clears throat> ticked up Moo, it would have been at 7, and I guess I could have had Chandra minus and recast that contingent plan and, and been able to ultimate if they didn't have anything. I am humbled by the sky's divine power. Only time will tell. All right, too hasty with the Teferi. I wasn't really quite expecting my opponent to cash in the Moo. Yeah, I like to think on my feet. Let's let's skip to the good part. Come on, draw a contingency plan. Man. All right, we're we are not. Go get him, buddies. We're not going to be ultimating that move before Fairy tucks it. No more games. 
So 4-4 four, four it is. We need to start drawing some spells. You know what? I'm not done yet. your temper. This isn't actually going to work, right? Wow, that this actually worked. My worst defeat. Fire with fire. All right, definitely going to wait on casting this contentious plan to try to surprise ultimate with Mu. No. They know about it. No. They know my plan. Because I thought even if they kill Chandra, we have the backup Chandra. So, you know, like, we just have to contentious plan and then either Chandra and get him. Do I actually... So I can do 8 right now, right? Yeah, I can do 8. No, I don't wait till I can... Yeah, we just cast this thing. I was thinking, do I wait till we have 2 more mana and we get to uh, do for 10? But no, that's not... That's not what we should be doing. I know more than you could learn. I cannot bear Be to gone, stay. interloper. Or our next two cards are just going to be lands, and we are going to easily have that. You know, or that. Billion! Thanks so much there, Billion. Death I appreciate that. I'm known for my excellent timing. I've got it. I don't think we were supposed to be drawing 12 lands. Uh, well, I certainly wish we would have kept the finale in hand. Uh, the problem is we could have just kept finale in hand, not drawn the lands, get it thought erasured away, all, all sorts of other bad things that could have happened. That's more like it. But un unfortunate. 
I don't think the lifelink really matters too much. I think we might as well just keep this for if they, Trust. you know, like whenever they stabilize, we kill these elite card mages, I guess. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Come on. Yeah, the Chandra Tribal deck. I like that quite a bit. I I don't play much best of one, so I can't really recommend it necessarily for best of one because I just don't I don't really play best of one. So I, I don't know. Like I can't say that it's bad. I I just don't know. Here goes nothing. We need to move quickly. But yeah, I definitely had had a lot of fun with the deck. This is game number one Let's for Jeskai Walkers. Down. The very first game. Trust me, I have a plan. I don't think Simic Flash is going to drop off too much. No, I don't. I don't think so. Hey, Boot! Thanks for gifting that that sub out. We got Rebecca getting that gifted sub. No. Welcome to the channel, Rebecca. Thoughts on Azorius Flyers? Just hit Mythic with it. Well, first, way to go. Good job. Getting Mythic with the deck. That's not easy to do. So, congratulations there. Um, but yeah, besides that, uh, I don't, I haven't had too much experience playing against Azorius Flyers too much, so I don't have a, I don't have a, a real big, I know my responsibility. um, Let's try this. like opinion of the deck or anything, I, I'm not sure. Should have seen that coming. We're so close there. No, they're at I four. Am not making this up as I go. They're so close. What I really want to do is like draw. Well, that's just gonna get thought erasured. It's unfortunate. We would have been able to finale for eight again. Don't worry, I got. You. Why do you always draw like a great card? Why why is it always you draw the great card whenever they have like the turn they have the thought erasure? That's like the turn that you draw the great card, and then you draw the land other times. This might be a bad idea. Liquid. Join in the stream with that gifted sub. Santa Boot strikes again. Thanks, Liquid. And thanks, Boot. All right. Well, get this thing out here. 28. We are two away from another sub goal. Yeah, it's lagging a little bit here where they're going later, like, real late into this game. I won't hide no time for a break. I've got time. Now, now, be patient. Do 
not challenge a raging river. We're trying over here. We have a lot of sideboarding we're going to need to do. We've had a lot of cards that are not very good for this specific matchup. Keep up the pace. But so is our opponent, probably. I would really like to draw Narset and then Narset find Sarkin. That would be ideal. They're already back up to a million life. Elite Guard Mage is awesome. All right, what can we do over here? No, too bad. I mean, is it just make four two twos? I guess it is. Oh right. Only if you've seen this one before. Bow to the howling winds. Completely forgot about that. Ugh. Y'all are probably Sorry. telling me that in the chat, weren't you? Yeah. So yeah, what just happened there is we couldn't couldn't play the card because of Lil Teferi being around. Just the trick for this. So I had to zero and attack the Teferi. This and then wait for the next idea. turn. I forgot about that. How that worked like that. We were talking about that earlier. But how Chandra's worded Chandra actually words it as it being an instant. Do not challenge a raging river. Go get him, buddies. Technique. Yeah, that's that's a. Uh, well, we were just talking about that earlier t earlier today. And somebody was asking why can't I Chandra minus and there's a little Keep Teferi up. The yeah, that is how that works. Are you serious? That's I'm, more like it. Thanks for the kind words. Hone your prowess. Hey, dude, don't yeah. You can't sub or donate. That's all good, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you're watching the YouTube videos and everything, and and glad to have you here. Uh, Moo hasn't been spectacular in this matchup. Mostly how, you know, she just she makes tokens that just get killed really efficiently by Teferi, and so that's kind of tough. Hey, there you go. Santa boots, striking again. Serious getting that gifted sub. So now you get to throw out all the emotes, all the hypos, everything now, Serious, whenever we get new subscribers. That's number 29. The sky. 
sky is my domain. All right, and they ultimate to fairy. Well, I messed up that Chandra play. That certainly hurts. I don't even know if like bindings and prison realms are are good because it because it's a fairy. I don't even know if they're actually good. Maybe I'm supposed to be playing Clarion. Nah. We only have two Mu Yanlings. Man, it seemed like we had a whole bunch of them. We have four charter courses in here. Hmm. And yeah, we steal their thing. They just put it back in their hand. That's not very good value for us. Let's go with this. No, oh, Melody's not any good. We saw it there. Like, we we still steal their creature. They get to just put their creature back in their hand with Teferi. So they get to recast it, draw another card and everything. No, we don't want Melody. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, Cirrus Ward, I don't like... Yeah, there are just a million different team or elemental decks. I... I don't think I like my team or elemental right now. The the last one that I played, I need that needs some then I need some to rework that one. So I actually wouldn't really recommend the last 75 that I played with that. I kind of think our deck maybe has one too many lands. That's what it feels like. I can no longer stand by and watch. Here goes nothing. I'm not sure if I'm actually supposed to lightning strike this to fairy or not. Awesome, Arc Jelly. Um, I haven't. I just haven't played it in a long time. Hey, these little guys are great. But yeah, it's working out for you. The Sultai Cavalier deck. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Uh, that was the worst possible card we could see. Oh wait, we have we can just minus the Chandra. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. Because I I certainly do not want to. I I'm not going to. Yeah, I like to uh, fairy bounce that thing. We have so many lands. Our curve is really low in this in this deck. I feel like don't don't feel like we need twenty five lands. 
That doesn't seem like that. Ooh, Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet Perun. That's a sweet card. Card doesn't work so well with Interplanar Beacon. Hey, there we go. That's a good one. Wait. Yeah. Auto tab knows what what I wanted to do. If you wish to see, keep an open mind. Go get him, buddies. I've got it. Play the card. There we go. Why is that a card? I am we not happy right now. Overwhelming. Why does that need to be printed? Hurry! Well, we'll see what they got. So three cards in hand. Boo. Let's skip to the good part. for plan B. Yep, it's likely game. Alright, so very, very small sample. We've only played two games, but both games we've had just way, way, way too many lands. Because we do have like some, like, Hold you know, not only do we have the 25 lands, but we have, we have like some good card draw, right? Like, so we're like drawing cards and everything. So it seems like we'd, we're going to just be drawing into more lands and everything. Patience, even a light breeze. Well, if we had a blue finale in here? Not challenge a raging river. What if we had like one blue finale? Alright, that was big, big time draw. Big time draw. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tiger. Alright, well... So much for that big time draw. You know what? I'm not done yet. Learn some respect. Truth lies so maybe we draw the white finale. Future. No time for a break. Next turn, we'll have X is 10. So we draw white finale. They don't have a counter spell, and they don't have a sweeper. Vows and then the we win. Wins. So we need all that to happen. We need to draw white finale. Well, now they have machine gun drawing with Mu Yanling ultimate. So they have three islands we right now, so I guess quick. they get to draw five cards a turn between their draw step to fairy. The and then Mu Yanling the can draw an extra three cards every turn. Learn to live with the land and be rewarded. All right, we got our back against the wall. Down a game. Or down a match. We got to got to win 5 in a row here.
We can do it. Perfect. Clarion looks awesome here. So obviously if I play Clifftop Retreat, I'd have Lightning Strike available. But then I also don't really want to put red on my opponent's radar, like that that I'm just gonna just deafening Clarion the next turn. So I was hoping they you know play another creature. And then we get him. This interplanar and like the same thing, if I play interplanar beacon. It probably gives them the Jeskai kind of feel. Hey, what's up, Inky? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. You and I are gonna take them out. This is just gonna be bad for you. Okay. Oh, that is sub number thirty. Inky getting us there to our third sub goal. That deserves a lot of hype. Y'all get those hype votes there in the chat. Thank you so much, Inky. <clears throat> Alright, we'll go with Moo. Prove your skill, I or I guess Yanling. Because yeah, Yanling's her name, Moo is her it's like her last name, right? But Sit back and watch it burn. with the Chinese culture, isn't that like flipped? Like isn't it like Yanling's kinda like her? Like her first name for us. Don't try my patience. Hmm. We need to get the 4 4 out here and get some lifelink. Honestly, this, this could maybe do it. Say hi to my fiery friends. We, <clears throat> oh wait, I'm not gonna be able to play Sarkin and Clarion next turn. Oh, it's you burning. Can't have both of those. Don't have the mana for that. <laughs> This is the game like where we don't have the the lands. So obviously we need to deal damage to Chandra. Obviously we gotta do that. It's just how do we want to do that? Well then. Quell your temper. Don't worry. I brought company. Yeah, we could we could have melody their creature and their creature has haste. Hey! Hey, fuzzy bug. 
Just started going to F and M. That's awesome. No problem. Fire can't hey, glad you're enjoying magic and everything. Okay, Wake. I thought I thought I read somewhere that that Mu Yanling was templated, like where like she was templated that way, like Yanling first kind of name. That that's that's how she was templated, but honestly I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Divine power. Hey, these little guys are great. Enough. Next turn, we'll have Life Link with Clarion. We can also just play this Arkin. What know you of dragons? They are coming. I guess I'm supposed to make these things. Don't worry, I brought company. All right, yay! We didn't flood out, and our deck played really well. We didn't flood out. No, yeah, Grixis was okay. Honestly, like it, it felt like it was better than the two three, like our, our record. Played some close ones, and and I talked about like one small change, uh, put getting some legions ends in the main deck, that I think would really help the deck, afterwards. All right, get this other Clarion in here. Bindings, Prison Realms. Obviously, Dawnbringer. It's the card that's not good against mono red. I'm thinking Narset. Little Teferi, maybe also. Yeah, do we just take out like Narset, Little Teferi? That does that does make Sarkin worse. I kinda want Dovin's Veto. Oh, I want Coil, definitely. Kinda want Veto also. Maybe I shouldn't be playing Moo Yanling. Yeah, I had two discoveries in there. I'll take out the contingent plan. Contingent contentious plans. Those look a little slow. Let's try this. Yeah, Lyra's still good even even if they're playing fries. Because you know they have to have the fry to kill the, the Lyra if they don't. Wire is gonna get him. Oh, I, I could maybe trim a land. Yeah, Lyra probably likes fries. I would I would think that too. All right, well Clarion's a really important card to have on turn three, so I'm gonna be keeping this hand because of Clarion. All right, we don't need to draw any more lands, deck. Looks like our <laughs> opponent kept a hand that's good against Clarion. Hmm, no war boss. Better 
better than having a plan. Basically, I can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. Let's get you out here, Chandra. Be able to recast stuff. Throw another punch, and you're gonna get burned. Fuzzy Bug, getting that tier one sub in here. Keeping the hype going. Thanks, Fuzzy Bug. What deck am I having the most fun with alarm. right now? Pyromancer extraordinaire. Don't worry. Um, I company. The Orzhov Sacrifice deck we played earlier this week was was my was my favorite uh, deck of the week for like most fun. I think I, I think I may need to do some some tuning with that. Like maybe get some tight takers instead of the other two drop in there. But uh, Gruel mid range from earlier today was really impressive. The Golgari Stompy that we played yesterday, I've been liking. I've been liking playing that deck too. I really like four mana Vivian quite a bit. With that's the the main tie in with the Gruel stuff. Gruel Stompy and or sorry, Gruel mid range and Golgari Stompy. So light up and pyromancer, huh? Go get him, buddies. Hey, I'm meditating here. We got the backup Dawnbringer. I I'm casting it right now because they got like these things that like if we if we play, if they try to kill Dawnbringer, uh, unfortunately, they did have the Fry. I was going to say, they, they may not have. Now things are getting heated. Right. Get them, they but... may not have the ability to cast like those things, too. But Fry was our worst case scenario there. Next time, you're toast. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Oh, they're so cute. I can't play this other Dawnbringer until we deal with that Chandra. Because of the Chandra's minus two ability. Keep it up and you'll pay. I already played a land. Let's just keep this Dovin's Veto here. Could definitely see big Chandra. Experimental Frenzy, something like that here. Mono Blue Tempo is a really, like, it's a difficult deck to play, to be honest. It's a it's a difficult one. You have to, it's not the best starter deck, because you, you have to have good knowledge of, like, what all the other people are playing, what all your opponents are playing and stuff to really maximize that deck. My fiery friends. But as far as cost-wise, it's certainly good low cost-wise. Throw another punch, and you're going to get burned. I don't think they would shock a 1-1, but just in case. I'm late to meditation anyway. I could certainly see one of those last cards being another fry. I hope not, though. Sure hope not. All right, good sign. Maybe one too many lands. If 
Frenzy is usually better than Chaunt or better than Lyra. I don't know how many lands in a row that was, but it was a lot. I guess it's still going. Oh no, because we, we drew the, the charter course, so it wasn't so it was only five in a row since the charter course, but it was a bunch of our previous charter course was just two lands also. There's twenty five in this deck as far as lands go, and I think I think we're one too many. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. Chandra, remember that spell. All right, we're going to be going to game three here. I guess we could we could draw the white finale. We have the white finale still in here. Uh, white finale would only be for nine this next turn. This is definitely a, a grindy back and forth matchup. This, this could be a matchup where we do want to cut some lands. I am certainly willing to sideboard out at least one land. I'm burnt out. So we need the the frenzy not to do five damage to us, either this turn and next turn combined, and us draw the white white finale. No. Good game. All right, what land should we cut? Let's get to Fairy in here. They can tuck Planeswalkers and get a lot more card advantage and stuff. Not sure which land to cut. Looks like blue is the least important color. And we have this island. I guess it's that. Alright, island's out. I mean, we have Ixalan's Binding for Frenzy, which, you know, didn't draw Ixalan's Binding, but like we don't need Grafteer's Cage. Like, we have an answer for it. We have a good answer. Two. Obviously, we're just not going to draw a single land now. <clears throat> you can count on that. We need we need double white for Lyra also.
Yep, no lands. So if they have another light at the stage, I don't want to counter this because I want to counter light at the stage. If they have another one, but if they don't have light at the stage, I guess there's only three other light at the stages in their deck. Yay. Yay. All right, we're doing it. So this Teferi would have been the island. That was the card I took out for the island. <clears throat> that was the card I put in. Sorry for the island. Don't you love, yeah, don't you love magic? Don't you just love magic? I mean, our, our opponent is is the opposite of us, right? Like, they're just flooding out really bad, which is honestly a good sign for us. I'm expecting fries over there, which I guess, I guess is not great. All right, maybe I should have kept that Chandra because of Fry. Hey, what's up, Alexis Bros? Thanks for that resub for three months. Sub number 32 on the day. Stop. Excellent timing. Is that our last card fry? I really hope their last card's not fry. No time for a break. Ah, uh, Beacon. Why can't I had you before? I need you, Beacon. Yeah, it looks like their last card's fry. Suppose that's how it was meant to happen.
Go, Dawnbringer, go! Alright, we got this. Let's use this thing so I can scry. I already have I have another answer for a planeswalker. I don't have to really worry too much about that. Yeah. Good scry, good scry. How they flooded out so bad. Eleven lands and twenty two cards for them. I guess I'm supposed to attack first. Give him double lifelink. All right. One and one. All it took was for our opponent to not draw or to draw only lands. But we're here. We're on our way back. We're, you know, we don't have any any room for error. Because uh, any loss and we're eliminated. Yeah, Frenzy would have definitely been a really scary draw with 11 lands. Because, yeah, they could have gone Frenzy plus, you know, 18 spells underneath or whatever. Narset's a good card to draw here. Narset doesn't help you hit land drops, but just helps you get spells. Right now, we don't need land drops. We need spells, so Narset's a good one. They just have the... the turn two pass. A little, a little bit of the opposite of our last red no opponent. Obstacles. With thoughtfulness before action. This has been the strangest league as far as mana is concerned, isn't it? Oh, they're so cute. Whether I'm flooding, opponent's flooding, no, opponent keeps a one-lander. Again. I was going to put a loyalty counter on both red planeswalkers. Alright, so we're bringing this, bringing this, bringing this, bringing this, bringing this, bringing this, bringing this. Alright, 12 cards in. Cards that are out. Island. Um, one Moo. Four Narset. Four Teferi. Two Contentious Plan. Contentious Plan. Um. All right, let's go. Why are you surprised to see Vito against Mono Red? They just have so many spells that are so good to counter. Whether it's a, a burn spell at your face, Frenzy, Chandra. Let's 
Vito's very good against mono red. Especially when you play like all removal for creatures. Like we're we're just playing like tons of removal for the creatures. Like the cards that are gonna beat us are all the spells. That thing's just really scary. They could certainly play another one, and I'll feel bad for not having my Deafening Clarion. Darn it. I didn't mean you were supposed to do that. I'm just saying they could do that. But that thing is really scary. Hmm. Problem with playing Chandra, of course, is then we don't have Do Dovin's Veto available. Because with this, they're going to be throwing a burn spell at us. Uh, I guess I counter that. I suppose so. I don't even know if I need to. Burn spells are going to do a whole lot of damage now. So, like, a shock does five damage. Okay. This was the kind of turn that I was kind of expecting them to do last turn, but they didn't do that that last turn. So yeah, I, my way to kill that Spitfire would have been Shock, Chandra, Shock. So since they didn't do that last turn, I, I was thinking they didn't just have just a ton of burn spells in hand, but obviously they did have a ton of burn spells in hand, so, you know, great for me. I guess Little Teferi's value does go up against Spitfire. Yeah, next turn, I, that was the plan. Next turn, go Chandra Clarion. That, that was my plan. I need another turn. I need them just to, you know, like attack or something. That was my plan. Next turn, Chandra Clarion. It obviously ended up being a, a plan that killed me. That, that turn, I could have gone Shock, Chandra Shock. Or no, I could have... I guess that takes four red sources, so I wasn't even going to be able to do that, would I? I was thinking three. There's actually four, so I couldn't even do that. So, no, I, I was just dead. It's fine. The big mistake was countering the Tibble with the Dovin's Veto. I needed to counter the Shock. Hooray, magic. <laughs> I 
Alex, there is no best. There is no best deck right now. Oh, against Esper? Oh. Best deck against Esper. I gotcha. Um. The only thing to fear, the more, the messier. Game over. Uh, I would be, I would be confident playing either girl, the girl mid range from earlier today, or or Golgari Stompy. I'm confident playing either of those decks against Esper, but you don't. There's not really a deck that stomps Esper. I don't really like playing Lyra here because then Lyra will die to a three damage burn spell if they if they pair up Ember Hauler plus three damage burn spell to kill Lyra. I don't I don't like that. I'll make some two twos. Some two twos may distract our opponent. Obviously, Ember Hauler could kill the Sarkin, or you could have something else. Hmm. Well, they didn't use the Ember Hauler. Worked out pretty well for us. Uh, maybe Echo Slayer. Uh, it's a quick, it says, do you feel the question is, do you feel like you hang on to cards too much, fearing losing them because against red? Reddick wins that they just play stuff out to draw fire and then empty their hand. The one the one kind of problem with that approach is just try to empty their hand kind of thing um, is, of course, Experimental Frenzy. A lot of times it's not... Not a lot of times, but when they have Frenzy, it could, it could be not so great to empty their hand. 
but I mean, I'm, I'm still playing like good threats every every turn there, even though I wasn't playing the Dawnbringer. You know, whether it's three two twos, we saw the three two twos had a good impact on the game or Sarkin. All right. Well, they're at six. We got nine power. All right, we are two and one. Beat the two red decks. Lost to Esper. And we're going to round number four. It's, it's hard to say. Magic's a tough game. You know, it's a tough game. GG's. The finale of glory isn't spectacular here. It's kind of tough mulliganing a three spell four land hand. Let's, let's try it out. Could be too slow, but also maybe not. We'll see. There we go. Basically, all of our cards are, don't cost... Like, we have so many cards that just don't cost very much mana. So, with two draw steps, it wasn't um, out of the realm of possibility of drawing some interaction the first for the first two turns. Unfortunately, that druid has a third point of toughness, so we're not killing that. But We'll shock the reef, though. So they had no land drop. That was their only land that they got. Was show remorse. I'll show restraint. Don't worry, I got this. From the Risen Reef. Yeah, Excellence is awesome, Guns Frenzy. Yep. Plus, plus, I think, the sky is I don't know, are we feeling like um, trying to go for a Moo ultimate here? Next turn it'll be six, then the next turn eight. No, I am not making this up as I go. Kind of feeling that. To the howling winds. All right. And yeah, we we're gonna be able to lava coil on their turn if we wanted, or you know, chart a course. Got to play the sorceries on their turn because of the little teferi. All right, very good. Get all the Clarions in this matchup. Do we need Prison Realm or Binding for Nyssa? Ugh, probably. Probably Binding. Maybe Prison Realm also for like the 5-6 Cavalier Thorns. So why don't I wait for... Why didn't I wait for Clarion? Because I don't want to give... I don't want my opponent to have the extra mana with those mana creatures there. I don't want them to just be able to play... Um, you know, like a Cavalier of Thorns or a, a Nyssa or some I don't know what. I don't want them to play something big. So I'm just taking that two for one. Well, it looks like the cards that I'm that to take out in this matchup. I'm honestly not sure.
D Love, do you have any suggestions here what to take out? Let's see. And maybe just contentious plan, kind of slow. Just maybe Narset. I do like Teferi. Yeah, good call. Narset does shut down Teferi, and Narset can help us find our enchantment removal. I wonder if I should be playing uh, Dovin's Vetoes here. With, like Nyssa, Manipulation. I should probably be bringing in the Dovin's Vetoes. I kind of ran out of time, though, whenever I realized that. <laughs> Don't take out any. Keep them all. 65. Go Route 65. Gotcha. It's just, <clears throat> these green creatures are just kind of tough. Or these green, sorry, these green decks are kind of tough because you have so many reactive spells where at different times they're going to be good. And so finding the right balance of like which ones to play because you can't play everything. It's a challenge. I could go sixty one with this with the twenty five lands here, especially if I was on the draw. I could have just gone sixty one. Oh, we were we've been a little worried about having too many lands. This would have been a really good turn to have Dovin's Veto, probably. Oh. They're going up top with the Ceratop. Kind of binding that. It's like, how many of these do they really have? All right, like maybe one more. Um, yeah. Want some bacon? We're at ten. Need some bacon. We'll take some bacon. That's a card I want to Ixalan's binding. I must seek comfort in the land. Me later. Here we go. the land. Chart. All right, we're doing good. I've done the hero thing before. Instant speed melody is nice. The 
living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> it's awesome. Find your fires of passion within. I'm just getting the fifth counter on the Chandra so that we can... So that we can minus Chandra twice. Trust me, I have a plan. Going. We don't really need to instant speed that Rolesk there. We'll just take it. <laughs> oh no! Ugh. I can't block that. Third Ceratops, come on. Give me a break. No. Time to sleep for a week. Yeah, they're killing the Chandra because the Chandra could have lava coiled that. Why did I put another counter on the Chandra? Let's try this. Excellent timing. Come to me. I'll protect you. So they can do one damage to Sarkin with the trample. Listen to them roar. If they would like. Dragons and dinosaurs. You want a fight? All right, good match. And we're three and one. Ceratops, not so scary. See, pro blue, not that relevant of a color. We're just lava coiled one. Blocked one with a Sarkin, four four dragon, and prison realmed another. Sorry, excuse me there. We're coming back after our 01. So it looks like Wilderness Reclamation here. No counter spell. Hooray. Sorry I'm late. I have just the trick for this. Try this. Um, 
I would like to ask about it. Let me aid your research. Oh, blast zone is kind of rough. I've got it. friends stop interrupting me I don't want them to be able to minus the Tamio and grab blast zone you could use some manners yeah we can't we can't double lightning strike with Chandra not not yet no oh, no there's a blast zone hmm I think you will find my notes helpful. So I'm probably just going to be flashing in uh, Finale of Glory here. Make four two twos Trust and see what happens. Me. I have a plan. Oh, good call there. That's actually just a really good call. Let's do this thing. I mean, I could have, I could have waited till they like actually sack blast zone. I suppose. Yeah, I should have done it in response to them blowing up, till they actually sack. I guess I'm just, I was like risk averse there, but that, there's no risk. There's no risk as long as I tick up all the time. So yeah, no, I, I, I messed up there. Oh yeah, that's true. Once it's sacked as a cost, then you can't proliferate because it, it, yeah, the casting's part of the sacrificing's part of the part of the cost. Yeah, good call, Sidden. Uh, am I making two two twos? Way to go, Timido. 7 1 with your first draft on Arena. You are awesome. Good job. Congratulations. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Before. 
So they can not Good, they're one mana short from Reclamation and Nexus. So that's just a scry, because <clears throat> of Narset. All right, but they liked that card. They kept that card. Do have enough mana now. Be able to activate and cast a Nexus if they find it. So every turn that they find a Nexus is another two cards lower in the library because of Escanta. I guess we had him with the creatures. Like, we had lethal attacking, so I, I guess. Like, oh, right, because they can't fog. That's right, they can't fog, because it's a fairy. Right. So, let's get these things in. These in, this in. These, I guess, this. I think I want to take out Mu Yanling because I don't want like everything to cost three, right? Blast Zone's going to be difficult. Blast Zone's going to be a difficult one to beat. We're going to have to contingent the planet some more. Um... It doesn't isn't spectacular, of course, but I like the chart, of course. I like you know, draw some more stuff. That was a good hand. Original Q, stream has gone very well today. Had a, a really good day stream, a nice fun day. 
Why are they not pumping out the blast zone ones? I want to play around the double cont contentious plan. Just casting Nexuses without any card draw is, is really not that big of a deal. I don't like that scry at the top. Ooh, and I really don't like that card. Let us see if your talents are seek and find. Having Tammy out makes it worse for us for sure that they found a nexus. To they the had library. The this is their turn four still. Yeah, you know, we had, as you can tell, we had three turns so far. So f from their spot, they should be casting the Nexus first before the Growth Spiral. Like they should just play the Escanta and then, you know, go to end step Nexus and then Growth Spiral. Because then you, you just have a, you know, you have four Nexuses back in the deck, so you just have a higher chance of, of redrawing a Nexus if you do that. Hmm. I know I noticed this somewhere. I mean, this game's over. Yeah. Let's get the rest of the turns with that combo. Turn four. That was a turn four kill and standard. Turn four infinite turns. Yeah, they have a win caught in the deck. They put a Nissa in the graveyard. That would that was gonna kill us. No, they can't miss the next Nexus. No, they're good. I mean they could, but even if they do, even if they do, which is very unlikely, but even if they do, uh, I had nothing to do the next turn anyway. So it's not like I was going to be, even if I had an extra turn, or even if I had a turn, I didn't have anything to do with it. So they had 34 cards in their library, and they were going to be able to look at, um, you know, like their draw step for one, eight with the two Ascant activations, and another four. Hone your prowess. Um, with the Tamio, and then that's also assuming they didn't draw, they didn't find any card draw off the, like if they're not taking Nexuses, they're taking card draw, and so they get to use the card draw also. I don't really expect it to be very realistic that they're whiffing there. Oh, and plus they had the they had the other Ascant activation on their end step there that they were going to be able to do. Keep an open mind. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? Hey, these little guys are great! Come on. Uh, 
That was such a good card to draw. Darn. Say hi to my fiery friends. That could have been a lot of a lot of damage. Yeah, we would have been attacking for another eight. Let me aid your research. All right, they're probably looking for whatever bounce spell they got. Uh, ooze. Give me that Tamiyo. My research has been compromised. Just have this slow burn here with the Chandra. Hey, these little guys are great. Ah, oh, such a slow burn. I'm not very confident we're going to be winning this. Over us can't activations. Obviously, the blast zone. All they need to do is just put a counter on the blast zone. They get the blow up the prison realm and these two things. We have a four turn clock right now. Well, now we don't. Is it a three turn clock? So that may speed it up. Alright, because we hit him down to eight. Next turn we hit him down to six. Hey, these little guys yeah. are great. So next turn six, and then the following turn they're dead. So two more turns after this. Because then with them being at six, then we've hit him down to three, and then we go Chandra minus. Yeah, if, if we're not casting Dovin's Veto, I'm going to Lightning Strike here. Because I guess, yeah, I guess we can just kill him next turn because the other Chandra speeds us up. So I we'll, guess we'll see if they have a negate or not. Say hi to my fiery friends. Uh, I'm going for the win though. Bunch of new burn spells to try on you. We got there. Ooh. 
I didn't want to do that before combat because if I do that before combat, then they then they're probably like, oh man, I need to fog. But maybe if I do that afterwards, they don't cast their fog. You know, like maybe they don't cast their fog if I just go to combat first. That maybe they just take the damage and go to three. I don't I don't know. You know, who who knows? That's 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 my thinking though. All right, final boss time. After starting 0 and 1, we are getting all the way back in here. We are 4 and 1 now. Yeah, I I would expect that the fogs were boarded out. I would expect that, but you never you know, you never know what can happen. Final boss. If you're a sub, get those final boss emotes in the chat. There we go. Lots of people getting them in there. If I if I lightning strike first, yes, I could veto and negate, but then I don't get to kill them because then I, d I don't I don't have the mana to play the other Chandra and make two creatures. So I, I didn't have the mana to cast veto and go for lethal that turn, no matter what. Yeah, cheeses. I make the deck lists unless uh, like these these three decks make these, but unless like uh, it. They say DD next to him. That's a donation deck. So that's, this is a list that was donated by a viewer to see played on stream here. And so that's what we got there. All right. Temple of Mystery. Our opponent could be playing anything. It's a mystery. The Temple of Mr. A. Yeah, Simic is the most popular two-color combination right now, I would say. All right, looking like... Looking like this is... a escape shift deck I've got time yep there's field of the dead you know what's better than having a plan basically anything say hi to my fiery friends Enough. Yeah, because there's they're just a, a huge variety of blue-green decks. You know, all the different elemental decks, all the the this ramp decks with, you know, like manipulation idea. and all that kind of stuff. You have your Simic Flash, and then you have, like, this this kind of deck. You have um, the Nexus, that, like we just played against. Um, I'm just going to shock. Oh my gosh, will I ever, will I ever remember that, remember that that doesn't work? Maybe not. <laughs> That's the second time this video I've done that. Because Chandra cast it at instant speed, you can't play instants because of this thing. That doesn't work. That's more like it. I I can't stop instant speed scape shift from killing me. Of my flames. 
Find your fires of passion within. <laughs> they of course get to bounce the dragon with Teferi if they would like. Looks like they have. I don't know why they have to be so careful of tapping. It doesn't really matter. Like I'm tapped out, I can't do anything. Yeah, I mean that's just lethal. Uh, assuming they do it correctly. Right? Or is it not lethal? Wait, maybe it's not. I forgot, like, Valakut would be lethal, but that's with threes. This is only damage of twos. No, so not lethal, but they can kill both my Planeswalkers. Definitely ho hoping they did not have escape shift. No, there's no planeswalker. No, there's no planeswalkers that you can activate on your opponent's turn. No, that that was never a never a space design that's been explored yet. I guess they don't want to risk their Teferi dying. Yeah, what? Listen to them roll. Why are they not just minusing? I'm bouncing my token. There is no peace in defeat. I just have another escape shift, I guess. Looks like it's just another escape shift. I mean, we just well, we just gotta that didn't pan out. you know pray they don't have escape shift because I can't can't do anything about it. I played a team or escape shift deck a couple of days ago. Man, I did not have escape shift very often. Having two copies like this must be nice. So as long as they do this correctly, they can definitely get much more than 22 power now. No, they just got, they did not. All right, that's only like 16 power, right? All they had to do is get two Field of the Deads and then six other lands, and they double that. They would have got 16 zombies, and I'd be dead. But they didn't do that. I mean, their life's perfect anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they definitely have another Field of the Dead in their deck. Don't worry, I got this. So that's not it. We're not gonna beat. We're not not gonna beat the two Field of the Dead still, though. I don't think. We need to draw, like, Sarkin. Three Field of the Deads? No.
Yeah, they are. They sacrificed their other one, which they didn't need to. But oh well. Dawnbreaker seems like it could do a whole lot of work. I guess melodying and a crisis is pretty nice. Doesn't seem like we have very much left to minus Chandra for here. Maybe Mu is good. No, not the plain little to fairy. All right. If you're playing a blue-black deck and you're losing to the Field of the, the Escape Shift decks, definitely recommend having an Unmoored Ego to be able to name Field of the Dead and get it out of their deck. It's certainly a reason to be playing a, an Unmoored Ego in all the blue-black decks right now. Hey, what's up, Tree Fitty? Thanks for that resub. Keep the two Sarkins. So number 33. Let's go war boss. Yeah, for our deck, Blood Sun. Yeah, Blood Sun would work, right? Yeah, if you're playing this deck, you could have Blood Sun. So they can't cast instance. This isn't a fight you can win. No, I am not making this up as I go. Which feels like could be a valuable. Could be valuable for us somehow. I am not going to sit this one out. Here we go. So, of course, my plan was to play Narset, but now withdrawing the veto, we'll just have that available.
Yeah, I should I should have plus Teferi the next turn or last turn. The problem with Sarkin is Sarkin does let my guard down on Dovin's veto. I'm not sure how much I should really be worried about that. I think past, present, and future are bound by threads with thoughtfulness before action. Because if we do, if we do play Sarkin, like a, I don't know if like I think we can outrace Escape Shift. I think, but let's try to push a bunch of damage in because of Sarkin. That's a really weird block. I guess, oh, they just want... I'm just keeping... They're wanting to do that. Wait, yeah. Select these, select these. There we go. Alright, so I don't get to veto, but that doesn't really matter. I don't think it does. Escape shift, we should be fine. Fine ish, I suppose. We need to do one extra point of damage. We got like eight damage here. So maybe. You know, not fine. We need one more point of damage. Yeah, I proliferated their blast zone to turn it into four instead of three. So they couldn't just kill my stuff. No, our opponent should not be sacking the field. I should just keep the field in play and keep the and like unless they really want to get that field out of their deck, I suppose. Meditate and prepare. I've got it. I don't know why I thought I could. I had enough mana for Sarkin and Clarion, but I don't. Yeah, so I, I should have bounced War Boss. You're right. Should have done that. I just I play that pretty quickly. Yeah, I don't. I don't really want to play the other Teferi bounce war boss and and play this because then, um, then I don't have Dovin's veto available anymore. And I really, I definitely do not want them to <clears throat> escape shift again. Why not? Yeah, if I if I went Sark and eight damage face, I was dead. Just all these things. These things would kill me. I'm at 18. If I would have played this, I, I just, I'm dead if I play Sarkin. My opponent can't have a counter spell. I have to ferry.
I meant not counter, but I kind of accidentally countered. Ooh. Well, that's fortunate. I, I didn't really actually mean to counter that. Second finale for six. So I play let's let's say I play Sarkin plus attack them for eight. How do I actually win the game? No, I, I made a couple mistakes here. Problem. Certainly. Two cards left. Oh, I didn't plus because I minus. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's late. <laughs> this is what happens when I when you play for eight hours in a row. Uh yeah, I know y'all in chatter. Killing me here. It's only a matter of time. Can't actually cast this instant speed because I minus. Uh This is why I usually stop the stream at 10 and not 10.45 like it is. <laughs> uh. All right, well. Mess that up. Where, where? <laughs> this is why it's usually not good to. Well, I don't want to say not good, but you can't ex expect to play real well. Uh, 21 matches in in a day and of course I played a couple of matches before the stream also to, pra to practice with some of the decks we played earlier but that's alright no I, I don't feel too bad I don't feel too bad but yep it um, pretty cool little deck here though with all these three mana planeswalkers, I wasn't impressed with Mu Yanling, and I don't think that Mu Yan like playing Mu Yanling is better than playing Teferi Hero of Dominaria. I, I don't think that that's that's the case. I would certainly recommend just playing Hero of Dominaria instead. Um, the finale was cool. The melodies were cool. Uh, little Chandra was pretty nice. It was just a, a cool little little deck. 
our deck felt a little un underpowered. Like we could have had, like, I don't know. I guess the white finale is like our, our big card, but yeah, I mean, just playing just playing five mana to fairies is just better than Mu Yanling. Like it's, let's be honest, that's a better card. That we already have enough things that cost two and three mana. We don't need like curve consideration wise. You don't need this. Like we can just have some five mana, a couple five mana cards. Um, I think that would. Um, <laughs> Thanks. I mean, y'all. Thanks, everybody in chat has been really, uh, really nice about the the mess ups there. Thank, thanks everybody. Because yeah, playing on stream while you're yeah while you're like reading chat and and you know you're base. It's kind of like if you imagine like if you if you try reading a book while you're playing like imagine doing imagine doing that. That's basically what streaming's kind of like. Imagine like reading a book and like talking talking about the book that you're reading while you're playing a game of Magic. It's not it's not easy, and so yeah you. you I definitely make a lot more mistakes and hear from all the other streamers too. You make more mistakes whenever you're streaming than whenever you're just playing normally. Um, yeah, you could play Fibblethip or Mox. I don't, I don't like Fibblethip's pretty underpowered. I wouldn't really, I don't think you need it. Uh, Mox, you could, but you, there's nothing really to, to Mox into. Um, but I, I would recommend just playing. Like, I think that, like, we talked about at the beginning of this uh, league how the deck had like one too many lands, but I think if you, I think if you just play like the fairies instead of the yanlings, then that could be like the fix. Cause then you, you do want the extra, that extra land to get to the five mana and then you're drawing more cards with the fairy. So I think that could be like the, the good fix is just take out, just take out Moo and play to fairy. I think that's a, that's a good, I think that that's what I'd recommend with the deck kind of thing. Um, that's kind of about it. I don't love like the prison realms, and prison realm also costing three. So I like just everything costing three and just like letting the blast zones just r blow us out isn't wasn't great. But there we go. That's that's the one thing I would I would really recommend. Cause, yeah, I I keep on trying like wanting to play Mu Yanling and and trying Yanling in different decks and everything, but it just kind of always disappointing and teferi hero of dominaria is a messed up card i don't know if y'all played with that card before it's kind of messed up i wouldn't mind more counter magic we have just the two vetoes in the sideboard i kind of felt like we could use a little bit more counter magic in the 75 just somewhere some more interaction with the stack now nah, i don't want Sahili. um anyway that's it that's just guy walkers it's late i need to get some dinner my stomach's been growling, so I'm gonna do that. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bad moons, thanks for uh, thanks for the kind words there. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. Uh, if you're watching here in Twitch, that's the link to the YouTube. If you missed any of the decks before, don't forget to go uh, follow along the YouTube channel and go check out all the videos there. YouTube.com/slash/ToddStevensMTG. But that's it here for Just Guy Walkers. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.